Hey everyone, right now I am going to install Ali's custom graphic driver for Final Fantasy 7 PC which is intended to increase the uh, graphic quality of the game and thereby enhance the gaming experience and I figured as I do this I might as well post a video for those of you uh, who are also looking to do so and may be in need of instruction. Now before I get underway with the tutorial I would just like to first clarify that I am aware and apologetic for the length of my initial videos but I only meant to make them as comprehensive as possible for those of you who were struggling to get the game working for them. Secondly, uh, I mean none of these tutorials as a slight to the people of Final Fantasy VII PC. They're obviously innovators for what they've done with the game and what they've allowed others to do with the game. Um, but I do understand if people had troubles with some of their tutorials um, due to things they might have left out or overlooked. And... Unfortunately, whoever manned the YouTube account for them uh, is no longer active, so people have not been able to get their questions answered for some time, um, like myself, and therefore I was left to figure all this out on my own. And now, based on my experience, I'm attempting to help others who may need some direction. So... Installing AI's custom graphic driver um, is supposed to uh, increase the graphic quality and as I said this is a substitute for the chocobo patch um, if you choose to install this. Uh, and another thing it does is, is take away the game's previously locked full screen which uh, is quite beneficial because it means that you don't have to treat the game like an all-consuming process for your computer. Now there are a few prerequisites in order for this to work and if you follow along with my previous tutorials you'll notice that we already did a couple of them. First we've installed the 1.02 retail patch and the second is that we have our own FF7 OpenGL CFG file uh, from the laptop uh, keypad patch. Um, but the other thing you'll need to do is have save files. And the way that your, your game folder uh, initiates a save file is by you playing through the game up until the first save point. So all you have to do is play through the reactor until you get to the very first save point, save your game, and a both a save folder and a save file will be created. Once you have that save folder, you want to make copies of your save files and simply rename them uh, up until you get to save file number 9. So from save file 0 to save file number 9 and in doing so you will meet all three requirements for Ali's custom graphic driver. So once you do download the driver and as you see it appears in the download file folder as FF7 OpenGL so we will extract it. Make sure you extract it to a folder because there are numerous files. We open the folder and it includes all of this. And as you may recall, um, if you participated in my last couple of tutorials, you may recall seeing these these. Um, files in my FF7 game folder 
that were left over from my previous playthrough um, before I, I deleted it for the purpose of the tutorials. Um, so that's what these are. So like I said, you don't have to fret about them not being there because you're, you're about to receive them. So we want to copy them over from the, the FF7 OpenGL folder and copy them into the game folder or paste them into the game folder rather and we want to copy and replace everything and there you have it your folders and your files are all there now there are a couple things we want to do and the first of which is to run the FF7 config application and as you can see it shows you which drivers are in use and the status of them and when you select graphics you should get a self-test pass after you switch your render to custom driver and this custom driver is Ali's custom driver and this is what will allow the graphical enhancements to take effect so like I said once you switch over to it you should get a self task self pass and you click OK now the second thing is we're going to open the FF7 OpenGL uh, .cfg file and this will allow you to make some edits such as the window size and the screen aspect. So we want to change this. I'll do window size 1280 and the Y coordinate will be 800 and I want to change it from full screen. Once you're done with that, it'll ask you if you want to save it. And again, this is why it's important to have the notification process uh, to a minimum because otherwise this will be hindered and you will not be able to save it. So we now save it and Ali's custom graphic driver should be ready to work on your game. So I open up Damien Tools Lite. I have FF7 here waiting to go. I mount disk 1. ignore this again remember that and when we play the game it now opens up in a window and the graphics should be enhanced so thank you all if you have any questions regarding any of the information please let me know thanks